Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this lecture of Pinus, I will clear structure of microsporophyll, development of microsporangium and development of microspores or pollen grains. It means in this lecture of Pinus, I will clear microsporophyll, different stages of development of microsporangium and development of pollens, development of pollen grains, development of microspores. Dear students, as we know, the pine tree is heterosporous, means the plant body produced two different types of spores, microspores and megaspores. The microspores which develop on male corn, while the megaspores which develop on female corn. The same plant body produce both types of corns, male corn and female corn. As we know, in our last lecture, we have discussed male corn. That male corn is formed by an aggregation of about 60 to 100 microsporophyll. This is the structure of microsporophyll. Dear students, this microsporophyll, which is equivalent to stamen of angiosperm flowering plant. As we know, in case of stamen, two parts are present. One is stoke-like structure that is filament and upper fertile part which is bilobed that is anther. But here in case of microsporophyll, three parts are present. This basal lower part, it is stalk. And this middle expanded fertile part, it is anther. And dear students, this upper sterile part, it is apophysis. Not only in case of microsporophyll, this middle expanded part is, it is fertile because it possesses two chambers, pollen chambers, microsporangia. These are one, two microsporangia, which are present on lower surface. So, the microsporangia, this anther, this middle part, it is abaxial in position. And this fertile part, it is anther. Dear students, it means this microsporophyll is differentiated into three parts. While in case of angiosperms, in case of flowering plants, the stamen is differentiated into two parts the small lower stalk like structure that is filament and upper fertile bilobed structure that is anther but here in case of microsporophyll three parts are there this lower small stalk it is basal part and this middle expanded fertile part having two microsporangia like two anther lobes and dear students this upper sterile part it is apophysis this is the transverse section of microsporophyll which is equivalent to stamen of angiosperms no doubt in case of microsporophyll one two pollen chambers pollen sacs or microsporangia are present and each microsporangia possesses pale yellowish winked microspores or pollen grains. Today's lecture, I will discuss very important topic for BSc student that is development of microsporangium and development of microspores, pollen grains. Dear students, development of microsporangium. In case of pine tree, the development of microsporangium that is eusporangia type. It means eusporangia type. It means this entire microsporangia that develops from a group of initial cells. And these cells are diploid cells named sporangial initial cells. And dear students, this group of initial cells, which is hypodermal, it means just below this epidermis, this group of initial cells 
develops. In this B diagram, this initial cells group, its cells which are deployed and these cells undergo periclinal parallel mitotic divisions due to periclinal no down competitive exam student parallel division two layers are formed this outer layer and inner layer this outer layer it is primary parietal cells or it is wall forming cells while this inner layer it consists of primary sporogenous cells or archisporium in this next diagram this group of primary parietal cells or wall cells which undergo anticlinal and periclinal division it means these parietal cells these are wall forming cells which undergo anticlinal at right angle and periclinal parallel divisions which are mitotic as a result sporangial wall is formed not on each and every point competitive exam students this sporangial wall and this sporangial wall it is four layered and this wall it is derived from primary parietal cells or wall cells which undergo both periclinal parallel and anticlinal divisions which are mitotic as a result this four layered sporangial wall is formed not down this outermost wall layer it is endothecium two middle layers and innermost layer of this microsporangial wall is that is secretory which is glandular and that layer is taped up dear students this taped up this innermost which is glandular and secretory layer it says secrete nutrients which provide nourishment to the developing microspores pollen grains this inner mass of cells it is derived from primary sporogenous cells and these primary sporogenous cells which undergo repeated mitotic divisions as a result this mass of sporogenous cells is formed each sporogenous cells which is a diploid cell and it acts as a spore mother cell or microspore mother cell dear students it is mmc microspore mother cell or it is pollen mother cell pmc each pollen mother cell which is a diploid cell and this cell undergoes meiotic division as a result this spore mother cell give rise a microspore tetrad finally four haploid microspores are formed from each pollen mother cell because this diploid spore mother cell microspore mother cell or pollen mother cell it undergoes meiotic division as a result four haploid microspores pollen grains are formed and this is the structure of microspore a pollen grain which is surrounded by a double layer wall outer layer it is exine and this inner layer it is intine this outer layer exine it give rise to balloon like air sacs or these are wings and these wings help in dispersal of microspores pollen grain because these microspores or pollen grains are carried by wind so the pollination is the microspore the pollens or pinus are anemophilous dear students anemophilous means the pollen is carried via wind by air dissense of microsporangium now down 
द माइक्रोस्पोर ऑफ हिल इट्स मिडल फर्टाइल पार्ट दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू माइक्रोस्पोर एंड ईच माइक्रोस्पोर हैविंग ए लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड लाइन ऑफ डाइस नो डाउन दिस इज लेंथ वाइज ए लाइन ऑफ डाइस when the conditions become dry at that time the sporangial wall splits over this line of dices as a result the microsporangial wall that splits and the pale yellowish colored pollens are released to disperse several pollens several pollen grains microspores in air this is called shower of sulfur dust dear student it means the mature microsporangia at the time of dehiscence release a pale yellowish cloud of pollen that dust is commonly called shower of sulfur dust this is all about structure of microsporophyll this is the transfer section of microsporophyll showing two microsporangia two pollen sacs two pollen chambers and each pollen chamber having pale yellowish winged pollens this diagram shows different stages of development of microsporangia and development of microspores pollen grain